Hi friends, in this video, I explain you why even harmonics are absent in generated EMF of an alternator. Right? So, now let us discuss about what is harmonic. So, harmonics means integral multiples of fundamental frequency. Harmonics means integral multiples of fundamental frequency. Another definition for harmonics is Harmonics are unwanted frequencies which are superimposed on the fundamental waveform creating a distorted waveform. That is another definition. I will give you basic uh, knowledge uh, uh, about uh, harmonic. Whenever a generator, whenever a generator is connected to non-linear load, then harmonics will be produced in the output of generator. So this is the generator connected to non-linear load, then harmonics will be produced across this generator, that means output of this generator. That is the basic uh, uh, concept of uh, harmonics. Okay. So let us consider the fundamental, uh, fundamental flux wave. So this is the fundamental flux wave, this one is fundamental flux wave, right? This fundamental flux wave is represented by pi 1, listen carefully, very very important concept. So here, what is our title? Why even order harmonics are absent in EMF of an alternator, right? This is fundamental flux wave, right? So frequency for this 50 hertz, that means uh, number, I mean uh, uh, 50 cycles per second, okay? So I, I consider uh, a second harmonic. The reason is even order harmonics means, so second order, that means uh, second harmonic, fourth harmonic, sixth harmonic, eighth harmonic and so on, okay? So in this uh, 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 lecture, I consider second harmonic EMF, right? So second harmonic EMF means instead of one complete cycle, instead of one complete cycle, two complete cycles are appeared in the output of generator due to second harmonic EMF. Again, I repeat, again, I repeat, second harmonic flux wave means instead of one complete cycle, Two complete cycles are appeared in output of EMF of generator, right? So this flux waveform is represented by pi two. Okay, this is pi one. This one is pi two. Right? Now here, now let us consider uh, uh, one waveform. That means uh, one coil. Let us consider a coil. So this is the coil, like this. This is the coil, that is a single turn coil, this is coil, right? So this one is coil side 1, this is coil side 1, this one is coil side 2, right? So this is coil side 1, this one is coil side 2. Now let us consider uh, fundamental flux waveform, that means pi 1, let us consider this, okay? Here according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, Whenever a conductor, this is the conductor, conductor 1, this is conductor 2. Whenever a conductor cuts the magnetic flux, across the conductor, EMF is induced. That is the concept, according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Now let us consider uh, uh, fundamental flux wave. This is the fundamental flux wave. This is the fundamental flux wave. Now, this conductor cuts the fundamental flux wave. Again, I repeat, this conductor cuts the fundamental flux wave. Now, consider a positive half cycle. This is positive half cycle, this is negative half cycle. Okay, now consider this positive half cycle. At this instant, now consider at this instant. At this instant, okay, this conductor cuts the flux, that is pi 1, fundamental flux waveform. That means, uh, due to that, what will happen here? E1, EMF E1, that is uh, fundamental induced EMF, fundamental EMF E1 is induced. Due to this flux, due to this positive half cycle, E1 is induced, right? This is positive half cycle means I consider uh, a plot is like this, plus minus. So, and current direction is upward direction. Okay? Current direction is upward direction. Now, now I consider another instant. Another instant, that means uh, a negative half cycle. This is uh, a coil. So, negative half cycle means this is a negative half cycle. Now, here also same thing. This is a conductor 2. This is coil side 2 or conductor 2. Again, same concept, according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, this conductor cuts the magnetic flux, that means fundamental flux. That means uh, due to this here, 
here this is positive half cycle this is negative half cycle negative half cycle means uh, uh, polarity is different that is uh, uh, this direction downward direction here also emf is in used according to faraday's law of electromagnetic induction so here polarity is minus plus okay these are the terminals for example this terminal is uh, uh, a this terminal is uh, for example c okay so due to faraday's law of electromagnetic induction here emf e1 is in use here also emf e1 is in use right here upward direction here downward direction that is according to fundamental flux wave now i consider second harmonic flux wave that is pi2 now i consider second harmonic flux wave now what will happen here this conductor again cuts the second harmonic flux wave at same instant that means here what is the uh, uh, wave form here positive half cycle this is positive right here also positive that means here uh, what is the induced emf polarity here positive means here again plus minus but here uh, induced emf is e2 the reason is due to second harmonic uh, uh, flux wave form here emf is induced that is e2 okay again here also here positive here positive means right so what is the direction here upward direction again that is e2 right what is the polarity here plus minus is it clear so see here here uh, upward direction here downward direction the reason is here positive half cycle next instant is negative half cycle but coming to second harmonic emf so this one is here we consider at same instant we consider so here positive uh, half cycle here positive okay both i mean uh, here also positive here also positive right that means here the polarity is uh, current direction is upward direction now let us consider uh, emf resultant emf resultant emf due to fundamental flux wave that means e resultant or e resultant or eac now apply kvl here apply kvl eac equal to so minus e1 so eac means here uh, here all same thing for example uh, uh, take some polarity here minus here uh, positive for example okay so apply kvl here so e1 so minus e1 apply kvl here so minus e1 okay plus plus of minus e1 again now i consider only induced emf due to fundamental flux wave right next one is plus so voltage across this ac emf across ac terminals eac okay so what is eac eac means resultant resultant emf so is equal to zero okay so eac equal to 2 times of e1 right eac equal to 2 times of e1 this is due to fundamental wave fundamental flux wave now consider uh, 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 second harmonic induced emf so again same thing apply kvl here minus e2 this is current enters negative terminal minus e2 here plus e2 okay next plus eac right is equal to zero that means eac equal to these two are cancel with each other that means eac equal to zero so what is the resultant here zero that means second harmonic emf will be zero resultant of second harmonic emf will be zero right therefore there is no even order harmonics in emf of an alternator due to symmetry okay right uh, this is regarding uh, uh, even order harmonics right uh, if you like my videos uh, don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching